Hi, I'm Tanner Smith, and this is Inner City vs. Outer Space. My review of Attack the Block. What kind of alien would invade some council state in South London? One that's looking for a fight. <laughs> Alright, now Attack the Block is an entertaining thriller from the UK about these characters that we seem to hate at the beginning, but then start to root for them when the chips are down. It's really strange, but it works. The movie follows a gang of inner-city London street kids as they mug a young woman and then are interrupted by an alien landing. They chase it down and kill it like the big shots that they pretend to be, but guess what? There are more of them! Yo, check it. More. More what? Them things. Lovely fireworks. Mom it's alien invasion. Is. I like that matter of fact tone that that kid used when they said the line alien invasion. The kids try to be the heroes and go after these things only to discover that these things are bigger and more vicious. Right now, I feel like going home, locking my door, and playing FIFA. What were those things? Thinking probably aliens. Eventually, they're all forced to hole up inside their apartment building where they team up with the woman that they previously mugged. We have to call the police. You'd be better off calling the Ghostbusters, love. Now, you can't exactly suspend your disbelief that these things know space travel, even though they act more like werewolves than intelligent beings. And I got a little tired of the British slang, like words like bruv, fam, wagwam. But the biggest accomplishment of Attack the Block is taking these characters, these really unsympathetic, unlikable characters that start out at the beginning as that, and then develop them as individuals that you want to root for when the aliens attack. It's so strange. The action and characters do mix well, the movie is entertaining, and has good use of keeping the aliens obscure. All the young actors are good, especially John Boyega as the gang leader Moses, and Alex Esmail as the comic relief Pest who has a lot of fireworks in his backpack that come in handy. The movie also has a mixed bag of characters that include the local thug named Hi-Hats, the block's drug dealer played by Nick Frost of Shaun of the Dead, and there's also an amusing subplot involving two nine-year-olds who go after the aliens themselves. Attack like the Block is a good deal of fun, the action and characters go together, and it's over in just an hour and a half, so I give it a yes.